Hello students, we are going to take up another lesson from your textbook Flamingo, The Rat Trap by Selma Legolov. Before we proceed, my usual question, have you read the story? It's very important to read the chapter. Okay, so a word about the author, Selma Legolov was a very famous author. She was also the first woman to win the Nobel Prize of Literature and actually she was conferred with a degree of doctorate by a Swedish university. The story has been set amidst the mines of Sweden rich in iron ore which figure large in the history of that country. In fact it talks about Sweden during the Industrial Revolution. During this time, many iron workers lost their jobs to machines. In fact, farm families were disposed and this has caused a lot of unemployment. Even though many of them had got good jobs at the factories. The story is told in a somewhat fairy tale manner. So when I say fairy tale, uh, if you look at the first line, the story opens with once upon a time and therefore we must assume that it is going to end with and they lived happily ever after. The story conveys a universal message about the inherent essential goodness in a human being which can be awakened through love, respect kindness and care. Riches, joys are the traps that most human beings are prone to get caught into. Human beings do have a tendency to redeem themselves from dishonest ways as does the rat trap seller who is our protagonist in the story. So this is you can say the theme or the message of the story. There are a few things I would like you to ponder about. One is theme of loneliness which is looming large in the story. And when I talk about theme of loneliness, definitely I want you to think about the crafter, the iron master and Edla. While we are doing the summary, I will draw your attention towards this once again. Another point is... The story is entertaining and philosophical. Entertaining, yes, because it is replete with instances of humor and philosophical, definitely because of the rat trap seller's philosophy of life and also because it touches on the concept of retribution and second chance. Third point is reader's sympathy is with the peddler. This is important because throughout the story, even though we know that the peddler is a kind of a thief, he has stolen money, in spite of that, our sympathy is with the peddler. That is something I want you to think about. The last point is, have you heard or read where a good deed or an act of kindness has changed a person's view of the world? Over here, I would like to uh, mention uh, names of few chapters that you might have uh, come across in your previous classes. The Bishop's Candlesticks, if someone can rem remember that, or uh, The Christmas Carol. So those who have read these chapters would know what I'm talking about. So these four points are very good points for your extrapolative kind of questions. Remember these points and the examples that we will refer to while we are reading the summary of the story. Now let's go through the point wise summary of the chapter. The peddler we know is the protagonist. He was a vagabond who had to resort to petty thievery and begging to make both ends meet. He had no worldly possession to call his own, not even a name. And that is why you will find 
children that he is referred to by various names. He's called a peddler, he's called a vagabond, he's called a rat trap seller, he's called a ragamuffin. But not even once has Selma given him a name. The world had never been kind to him. Therefore, it gave him unlimited joy to think of the world as a rat trap. All riches and joys, shelter and food were like baits for him. I'm reading from page 33, the first paragraph. Please highlight it because this is the philosophy of the rat trap seller. After we've read this, I would like you to tell me which figure of speech has been used to denote this example. So, the whole world with its lands and seas, its cities and villages was nothing but a big rat trap. It had never existed for any other purpose than to set baits for people. It offered riches and joys, shelter and food, heat and clothing, exactly as the rat trap offered cheese and pork. And as soon as anyone let himself be tempted to touch the bait, it closed in on him and then everything came to an end. Yes, so the whole world is being compared to a rat trap. Which figure of speech? Metaphor. Yes, so metaphor has been used by Selma Legolov to show us how the peddler through his philosophy compares the world to a rat trap. So one evening he was plodding along the road when he saw a small little cottage. This cottage belonged to a crafter. He was hesitant when he knocked at the door because he never expected that anyone would open the door. But in, not only did that man open the door, but also he welcomed him inside. On page 33, it says, Instead of the sour faces which ordinarily met him, the owner who was an old man without wife or child was happy to get someone to talk to in his loneliness. So the first example about your theme of loneliness comes from here. The crafter welcomed him, gave him dinner, shared his pipe, played a game of cards with him, also confided in him about his income. Now here, all these examples that have been given in this point are important for the question um, if it comes like this. Do you think the crofter was a hospitable host? Please mention all the things that the crofter did for the peddler. Highlight this line on page 33. The old man was just as generous with his confidences as with his porridge and tobacco. This is a very good line for your reference to context type of questions. Okay, so he was generous with his confidences means that he actually went ahead to show him the place where he had kept his earnings. So can you believe this? That's why the author says he was generous with his confidences. Next morning, the peddler stole the money, took the back roads to keep away from people and got lost in the jungle at night. While he wandered in the forest, he realized that he was caught in the rat trap and the money was the bait. Reading from page 34, last paragraph, last lines. All at once he recalled his thoughts about the world and the rat trap. Now his own turn had come. He had let himself be fooled by a bait and had been caught. The whole forest with its trunks and branches, its thickets and fallen logs, closed in upon him like an impenetrable prison from which he could never escape. Again, very important part. Uh, for your reference to context type of questions. After a while, he heard regular thumping of hammer strokes. He stood up and walked in the direction of the sound and reached a forge, the Ramsio Iron Works. The Iron Master came in on his nightly rounds and noticed the ragamuffin. He looked intently at the peddler's face and felt that the peddler was one of his old regimental comrade. Captain von Stelle. So reading from the chapter, it says, He walked close up to him, looked him over very carefully, then tore off his slouch hat to get a better view of his face. But of course, it is you, Niels Olof. 
how you do look the man with the rat traps had never before seen the iron master at ramsio and did not even know what his name was but it occurred to him that if the fine gentleman thought he was an old acquaintance he might perhaps throw him a couple of krona therefore he did not want to undeceive him all at once yes god knows things have gone downhill downhill with me so what does it tell you about the character of the rat trap seller he is a big opportunist he has seen that this rich man has uh, mistaken him for someone else so rather than saying that i am not nils olof he says yeah things have really been bad with me so this tells us about the character of the rat trap seller the iron master tries to convince him that he should accompany him to his uh, house and celebrate christmas with him now who would invite a stranger like this only a very lonely man again reading from page 37 it says elizabeth is dead as you may already have heard my boys are abroad and there is no one at home except my oldest daughter and myself we were just saying that it was not it was too bad we did not have any company for christmas now come along with me and help us make the christmas food disappear a little faster so imagine he is a stranger he thinks that the peddler is his old regimental comrade and therefore he is insisting that he accompanies him and celebrates christmas with him but the peddler is very cautious he knows that he has already committed one blunder by stealing the money from the crafter and he was trapped in the jungles he does not want to fall into another trap and therefore very politely says that he does not want to come the iron master leaves the place but he sends his daughter edla to persuade the peddler to come home she spoke so gently he felt confidence in her and agreed to go with her she noticed his uncouth appearance and thought that either he had stolen something or he had escaped from jail so we get to know two things about edla from this part one that she had better powers of persuasion than the iron master and second that she is a very observant young girl because the minute she looks at the uh, rat trap seller she says to herself either he has stolen something or else he has escaped from jail and also says last night i did not think there was anything about him to show that he had once been an educated man so these are examples which highlight her observant nature now since she was so gentle and she was so considerate the rat trap seller agrees to go with her but as he is going he again thinks that probably he is not done the right thing because he feels that it could be another trap anyway once he reaches home the peddler asks his attendants uh, sorry the iron master asks his attendants to take him away to clean him give him a bath give him new clothes and once he comes out in a prim and proper dress the iron master realizes his mistake that he is not the captain at that point of time he wants to call the sheriff the law enforcement officer and then the peddler is agitated and he breaks out at the world is a rat trap that the whole world is like a rat trap and the iron master began to laugh and if i read from the chapter page 40 that was not so badly said my good fellow perhaps we should let the sheriff alone on christmas eve but now get out of here as fast as you can now i want to show you the compassionate side of edla i'm reading from the chapter that morning she had felt so happy when she thought how home like and christmasy she was going to make things for the poor hungry wretch she could not get away from the idea all at once 
and that was why she had interceded for the vagabond. She's able to convince her father because the father says, you do preach worse than a parson. I only hope you won't have to regret this. So the peddler gets the permission to say and celebrate Christmas with them. But what does he do? He only eats and sleeps the whole day. The next day at church, Edla and her father come to know that the peddler is the thief who stole 30 kronor from the old crafter. Edla was dejected. The ironmaster was sure that the peddler must have run away with their silver cutlery. But when they reached home, they learned that the peddler had left empty-handed. On the other hand, he had left a Christmas present for Edla. It was a tiny rat trap with a message. I'll read the message, the last few lines of the chapter. The rat trap is a Christmas present from a rat who would have been caught in this world's rat trap if he had not been raised to captain because in that way he got power to clear himself. Written with friendship and high regard, Captain von Staley. So, he had left the crofter's money. He wrote that he had been treated as a captain. Because of that he could come out and he signed off as Captain Von Staley. So you see, the signing off as the captain clearly shows that he was a reformed man. Let's look at the MCQs. You know that in your new format of the paper, you have MCQs, you have reference to context, you have short answers, you have long answers. So what work has abate for the peddler? I'm talking about the crafter. Yes, money. Why was the peddler's life sad and monotonous? Because he was poor and lonely. But even so, the business was not specially profitable, so he had to resort to both begging and petty thievery to keep body and soul together. Who is he in the above lines? The peddler. What business is being talked about? Yes, selling rat traps. Why he had to resort to both begging and petty thievery? To keep body and soul together. What does the word resort mean? The source of help. So quickly skim through the answers and we move on to the next slide. That was a fine fellow you let into the house. I only wonder how many silver spoons are left in the cupboard by this time. Who is the fine fellow? You can use any name, peddler, ragamuffin, rat trap seller. Whose father said these lines? Edla Wilmanson's. Why did he doubt him? Why did he doubt him? Whatever they had heard at the church. What did the father wonder? He wondered how many silver spoons were left in the cupboard by that time. So these are the answers. You can skim through the answers. At the end of his letter to Edla, why does the peddler sign himself as Captain Von Staley? Yes, this is a two marker. So uh, go through the uh, bullet points. He behaves like a real captain, says that he would have remained a rat in the world's rat trap had it not been for Edla's sympathy, love, concern, care. His way of showing her that he was a changed man. This was his way of showing that he was a reformed man. And talking about Edla, I would like to add one thing. Uh, if you are talking about her generosity, okay, let's move to the next slide and then I'll tell you. Compare and contrast the character of the Iron Master with that of his daughter. This is a long answer, 120 to 150 words. I've always been telling you, divide your answer into paragraphs. So you can write two paragraphs, one uh, about the Iron Master, that he was an impulsive man, how uh, uh, he just uh, he just took the decision that uh, uh, the rat trap seller should uh, accompany him. He was hardworking. You can talk about his nightly rounds. He was arrogant because when he comes to know about mistaken identity, he does not want to listen to anything. He's very rude. He wants him to leave. Edla, she was persuasive. You know about her persuasion skills. She was observant. She is the one who says that she doesn't have any, any uh, sign of being an educated man. She was kind, compassionate and caring. This we can see that how she convinces her father to allow the rat trap seller to spend Christmas. 
she was sympathetic considerate and generous also the generosity bit i was talking about comes when she tells him that he could keep the suit as a gift a christmas gift and also she goes ahead and says that if he wanted to spend next christmas eve in a place where he could rest in peace and be sure that no evil would befall him he would be welcome back again this was something that gave the rat trap seller boundless amazement and another point about edla is that she treated the peddler with respect and appealed to his inherent goodness and it is on account of this that he became a reformed man hope this helps children good luck god bless